In this tutorial, we are going to use Global Mapper to create contour lines from a digital elevation model and export them from Global Mapper and use them, for example, in ArcGIS. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography, and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So first of all, open Global Mapper. Then we are going to import our digital elevation model which we are going to use to create our counters so just click on op open data files and there you can navigate to your work folder and then click on your digital elevation model click on open and click on yes to specify that this file corresponds to a DEA so here as you can see we got our DEM imported so now to create our counters, we are going to use the analysis tool. Just click on analysis and there you will get two options for creating counters. One is from Trillian Great and the other one is for Chin. So we are going to use the first one. Click on it and there you will get this window. Here you can specify the counter interval. So for me, I will let it to 100 meters. Here you can also specify the minor contours and the major contours. I will put 5 for the minors and 10 for the majors. For the elevation and other parameters, I just let them to default. Now in contour bounds, you can specify the area where you want to create your contours. For example, you can draw a box on your map. You can use all data visible on screen or you can also enter a latitude and longitude for your study area for example for me for example i will go ahead and click on draw a box and it will specify an area where i want to create my contours for example i will take this whole area and click on ok so here all what you need now to do is just to click on ok to create your contours so here we go, we got our counters, as you can see here, they are labels. So as you can see, we got major and minor counters. You can then go ahead and export these counters to whatever format you want. For example, so to do this, just click on file, head over to export. And here you can specify the type of your export. For our case, we will click on Export Vector Format. And there you can choose from a variety of formats. For me, for example, I will go ahead and export those counters as a shape file in order to open them in ArcGIS, for example. So click on OK. And here, click on Export Line. You can then specify where you want to save your shape file, name it, and then click on Save and delete everything to default and I just click on OK. Just open it ArcGIS in order to visualize my counters. So to import our counters, just click on add data. Then navigate to your work folder and then click on your chip file. Click add. So there we go, as you can see, we got our counters. If you want to get the labels of your counters, just go to your chip file and then click on label features. And as you can see, you can get the levels of your lines. So that's it for this tutorial. If you got some value from it, please like it and subscribe to get more tutorials.